This is what I found on uh, <coughs> eBay for available model railroad signal lights. This whole thing is called a signal mast. And this is called a signal head. And this is called a signal, signal head. Can't find the double ones anymore. <coughs> Two signal heads, three lights each, green, yellow, red, green, yellow, red. This is a single head with three lights or aspects. This is double, <coughs> green, yellow, red, and green and red. I bought a number of these signal lights a few years ago and what I have done here is lay them out according to how I want to attach them to the SEHC signal controller. So at this turnout I have <coughs> one signal mast to control what happens on the main line and one to control what happens on the diverging route going into the turnout. And then these two control what is happening on diverging and mainline routes going into the turnout from the other side. This one I have placed in position with wires from it going to the SEHC signal controller and that's where we're going next. This is what an SEHC signal controller looks like. Before we consider what to do with our SEHC signal controller and how that works and how you connect up the uh, signal heads to it, we need to take a look at something called a BDL-168. This is the occupancy uh, detector piece of hardware. <coughs> As I mentioned in the early video, the previous video, you have to divide your track up into blocks. And the simple way to do that is to cut the A track <coughs> at uh, either end of the block that you want. So I have soldered a wire from the A rail in each block and brought all these wires down here to the board. And they all come from all over the place through this little hole and then attached to this bus bar with the corresponding wire going to the BDL 168 and their instruction book manual pamphlet tells you uh, what to do with these lugs here. These are the wires that come from that uh, double head signal mask. There are seven of them. Three for the top three colors, three for the bottom three <coughs> on the bottom head, and uh, a common this, in this case, a common anode wire. So now we have to figure out how to attach these seven wires to this set of ten pins. Here's how. You have to use some of this ribbon to start with. You get some of these connectors. And when you buy an SEHC, they give you one multi-wire uh, strip like this with these two connectors, one on either end. <coughs> you can see that there are 10 holes there. And they plug in like that. Now we have to figure out how do we attach these seven wires into here. We just stick them in there. No, there's an idea, but there's a better way. The better way is to is to buy some of these things, terminal strips of a sort, I forget what they call them. 
but you can see here 10 connectors, screw connectors, so you can screw the wire in in here, tighten the screws up. They're all labeled, which you probably can't see, but they are all labeled here as to uh, whether it's uh, red or green or yellow or high or low. And we'll explain that one of these days, maybe even on this video. And then this set of pins goes in here. Like that. And then it's ready to go. This terminal strip mounting kit with all the screw connectors in it is uh, given to you on the instructions that come with the terminal strip. So, um, green low, yellow low, red low, into those three, uh, common low, common high. That all corresponds to this wiring diagram here. Just to mention this, that this little thing and these 10 pins control two, uh, four signal heads. Two going into the turnout from that way and two going into the turnout from that way. And those are all controlled by the SEHC through this and through this and through those 10 pins. The difference is that one set uses common high or its ground wire or common athode. And the other one uses common low. And so the SEHC doesn't get confused by all that, but it makes things work. I don't have it hooked up yet. Uh, that will come a little bit later, but that's the introduction to how you put your physical signal heads on your layout through SEHC. So I hooked up uh, the wires from those four signal heads to this terminal strip here into the appropriate uh, screw tightening slots and then this uh, ribbon goes over there and on the other side of that uh, board there is the SEHC. I've been working on setting up the signals for this turnout here on the layout. That's this light controlling the main line and this controlling the diverging line. And on the other side of the turnout, this one controlling the main line going the other direction 
and this one controlling the uh, siding going in this direction. How do they work? Well, let's change the turnout here. Switch it. And uh, it looks like it works. A yay for our side. 